What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another absolutely insane video. And today, we're opening it. The first edition, Legend of Blue Eyes Booster Box that you guys saw me go get in the LA vlog slash $258,000 pickup video. It was crazy. We pulled a Trihorn Dragon with a crimp out of one pack from this box. So the other 23 packs we're gonna open in this video. I paid $17,000. $850 for this box. Bruh. Yeah, that's crazy. That is a lot of money. Last time we paid $6,800. You guys can check out that video if you want to see those epic pulls. I put up some of my LOB cards in the background for good luck. Hopefully we can pull, obviously, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The giveaway for this video, hopefully, you guys know how this works. When we give something away, we pull it. I'm giving away a Blue Eyes White Dragon. We pulled this in the 40k special. It does have a ding at the top right out of the pack, but other than that, it is like near mint to mint other than that unfortunate spot. So overall, maybe like light play now, but still pretty awesome. All you got to do to enter that giveaway, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see from this box. You better say blue eyes. All right, let's get into it. Okay, let's see what we can pull here. This is going to be crazy. We have 23 booster packs. The shrink wrap is not on there anymore. If you guys want to see me remove that, go check out the Los Angeles video where we did the huge deal. It was crazy. Let's just start opening. We pulled a trihorn in one pack. These are all completely mixed up because we took everything out and weighed them out to make sure that they were like legit and stuff. Um, so they're not like in any sort of order anymore. So we're just going to be like wild westing it. Oh, we've got another uh, another crimped pack. It looks. Oh, no, this is the crimped pack, isn't it? I think this is the crimped pack. Yeah. Yeah, because we checked and there was no more. So here's the pack the trihorn dragon came out of. That scared me for a second. We checked them and there was none. So those are the cards. You can even see some of the crimping on those. Let's go to the second one where they should be all sealed from here on out. If they're not, we're going to be a little nervous. I hope we don't get another crimped card. Crimped is kind of cool, but when it comes to Legend of Blue Eyes, if I'm going to pull like an ultra rare, I would rather it not be crimped, if you know what I'm saying. So we can grade it because I'm looking to complete the set in nines and tens. Probably not all tens because it's just crazy. Unless we can pull like a Blue Eyes here and that would really help toward the cause. All right, here we go. Starting off this LOB box, first edition, $17,000, almost $18,000. Sandstone, here we go. We're gonna, You guys are going to have to smash the like button for luck. We're going to need some serious luck here. Masaki Legendary Swordsman. M Warrior number one. And a Fusionist. All right, we're starting off slow. That's good. We don't want to get too crazy. Missouri Zami, Yami, and Witty Phantom. We are opening every pack, by the way. I'm not scaling them. If you guys remember watching that last time, I tried to scale them. It was a complete and utter fail. So we're just going to skip that step and we're just going to open all of them, which is a little bit insane. It's a little bit insane, but uh, yeah, that's just how we do it here. I don't even know when I'm going to be posting this video, but uh, I wanted to open it. So we're opening it. All right. First edition, blue eyes, white dragon. Can we pull the holy grail, the blue eyes, white dragon mountain? Legendary Sword. I still need a lot of these cards in Ultra Rare, so hopefully something we don't have. Dark King of the Abyss. We have a Fiend Reflection, number two. And a Fissure Rare. Okay, starting it off with the Fissures. With the Rares, Beast Fangs. Flame Manipulator, Frenzy Panda. Hopefully, what Ultras we do get are going to be centered, I'm hoping. Because usually when I open Glossy, the cards come out a little off-centered. Which is not great, but uh, that's just how it works sometimes. All right. First edition LOB. This is just crazy, guys. This is crazy. I only need one super rare for my 9 and 10 set, I think, at this point. Um, I, the other ones should get 9s that I'm sent in. So, And that is Cursor Dragon. So we want to pull that. Lesser Dragon. Masaki, I thought that was it. Okay. Dragonus the Wicked Knight. So just a rare. Okay. Yeah, so Cursor Dragon would be the one we'd want to pull. Hopefully it could get a 10. A 9 would also be... It would fit in my set because I had an 8 and I cracked it. So I just have the raw card right now. Next pack. LOB, first edition, North American English. Craziness. Can we pull the big boy? Petite Angel. Glossy print cards. The Furious Sea King. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Umi. And a Metal Dragon. All right, just a rare. Fire Yaru, Succubus Knight, and Enchanting Mermaid. So we are starting slow. 
Hopefully that means we get hot towards the end. We start pulling a lot of foils because, as I said, they are kind of they are kind of like thrown together. I don't really know which is like where the because we weighed them. But as as you guys know, glossy doesn't really weigh too well anyway, so they're just kind of randomly everywhere. All right, Hina Thomas Soul. I have no idea how many packs we opened. We opened like five or something. Armail. So far we need a foil. We have pulled Trihorn, of course, from the box, but we haven't pulled anything else. Thirteenth Grave. <laughs> There he goes. That drop in commons. That's not good. Is that a bad or a good sign? We're about to find out. Yurabi. Cherubin, the fire knight. Wait, did we already pull him? No, we didn't. Okay. Man eater, remove trap, steel ogre grotto, and monster. Yeah, these are very off centered on some of them. Man eater looked okay. Cherubin, the fire knight. By the way, if you're watching this, you don't know what center he is. It is the borders. If they are even on the left to right and even from top to bottom, if this top gray bar right here was huge and the bottom was small, that would be off center. So I get that question a lot. I've explained it a few times, but in my last LOB video, I think people were, they were very upset. They were like, what is centering? Yeah, so uh, there you go, if you're wondering. All right. Can we pull something big? M Warrior number one. Mountain. Violet Crystal, that's a short print, I think. I think a mountain is as well. Oh, I keep dropping these. I gotta be careful. Dark King, King of the Abyss. And a Carbonala Warrior. So we're getting a lot of the uh, fusion monsters as rares. Machine Conversion and Flame Manipulator. So we have opened quite a few packs. So far, no foils, but that's just saving the suspense for the end. I'm not, not too worried. I'm slightly worried, not too worried. All right. All right, I have a good feeling about this pack for some reason. I just feel like it's going to be good. Yeah, and if we do pull a super that I already have in a 9, that'd be great to get one that could get a 10. That would be fantastic. Yurabi. Two-Mouth Dark Ruler. The, pre the preview of tw Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon and MRD. Armored Starfish. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Oh, man. This is not the droid we're looking for. I do already have this in PSA 10. I did have a good feeling about it. And the centering is slightly off on this one, so I don't know, it's a little tilted. So it starts okay, and then it starts getting wider there. So Gaia the Fierce Knight, not exactly the one we're looking for, Mystical Sheep. So now I have, I, my guess, I'm gonna guess right now that we're gonna pull a Exodia Limb. That's my other one. I think that's what it's gonna be. Just, that's just my guess, it's a hunch. It, it may not be right, I hope it's not right. But uh, even though we don't have any Exodia Limbs right now, I do have Gaia, which I have two Gaia. I might have two PSA 10s because I sent one in that was really nice. Armored Starfish. Metabat. Can we save it with the blue eyes? Swords of Revealing Light. Okay. Centering is not good at all. Oh my goodness. Centering is not boding well for this box right now. Which, as I said, glossy cards don't usually come centered. Mystical Sheep and Tripwire Beast. So we are not looking too good so far. But Gaia is cool and Swords are Revealing Light. I mean, I like both the cards. We just gonna get not gonna get tens on them, which sinks. Maybe we will get at least like one ten out of here. Last time I opened Glossy, we got one PSA ten. By the way, if you don't know what PSA grading is, you send them to grade your cards, and the values go up a lot if they get like gem mint condition tens, because that means they're in really good condition. And uh, so when they get nines, they get a lot less. They're worth a lot less. Green Phantom King, He Tatsumi Giant, Follow Wind. Dark Hole. Oh, look. Another one we have. So we're just pulling a lot of stuff that we have. This one is not going to get a 10, though. This one is going to get a... We might be sending a lot of cards to BGS looking for 9 fives at this point. Because if the centering is all that matters... Braze Body Heat, that's a good one. And Rain Temperature. If the centering is all that matters, they can still get 9.5s over there. Because if they get like a 9 centering and they get like 10s on other stuff or 9.5s, they could get um, Gem Mint Grades. But uh, 9.5s are usually worth a little bit less than regular tens and they're also a little bit more difficult to sell okay so my um i do have a wavy dark hole but i don't have a glossy so that's actually kind of cool kumutoko forest can we get a raigeki hain hain nice rare trial of hell that's cool we'll set that aside for sure dissolve rock all right hain hain trial of hell common Pretty cool. There's a little bit of a ding right there, it looks like. That's not good. All right, next pack. 
The last pack on this side. So I guess this will be our 11th pack. So far we pulled three foils. So it's about ratio four, I guess, if you count Trihorn. Maybe we'll get three Ultras in the box and do something crazy. <laughs> Two Mouth Dark Ruler. Hinotama. Can we get a centered foil? That's what we're asking for. Armored Starfish. Metabat. Dark Fire Dragon. That's a pretty good one. Nimuruko, Mystical Sheep, and Tripwire Beast. Make sure if you guys are enjoying the video, hit the subscribe button. I don't know what we have right now because I'm recording this ahead of time, but uh, I'm sure we've got some goal that we're going towards. This is actually probably a sub special, but yeah. So I appreciate if you guys hit the subscribe button so we can do more crazy stuff like this because this is definitely crazy. That's all I got to say, especially when we're pulling a uh, guy at the Fierce Knight and we're losing all kinds of money. Man with Graveyard, especially a PSA Knight. <laughs> Firegrass. Dark World Thorns, Mystical Elf, one that I have two of actually, and this one's exactly like the glossy one we pulled, it's the exact same centering. We are definitely going to have a BGS sub coming up, I'm probably going to send all these to BGS to get 9.5s instead of 9s, hopefully 9.5s. Ooh, so, so far not really any cards I'm looking for, like Curse of Dragon is what I'm looking for in supers, and then uh, Raigeki would be great because I... Wait, do I have one? Yeah, I have one Raigeki, but it hasn't been technically graded yet. Humi? Alright, come on, let's get some. Hino Thomas Soul. Armail. The 13th Grave. Spirit of the Harp. Enchanting Mermaid. These look like different. Sounds like a lot lighter. Man Eater, Remove Trap, and Steel Ogre Grotto. Alright, so we got a Spirit of the Harp. The, the rares look like they're in pretty good condition, so that's not bad, but uh, the foils, on the other hand, do not... I mean, they're in good condition, they're just centering, it's not great. Okay, enough about the centering until we get to the next card. <sighs> Alright, Legend of Blue Eyes. This is pretty exciting, even if we're not pulling the best stuff. It's still really cool to be able to open this again, <laughs> even though it costs. It costs a lot. Teen Angel, the Furious Sea King, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. And a stop defense. Okay, Vile Germs, Fire Yaru, Succubus Knight, and Tai Hone. Yeah, like, if we pull Blue Eyes and it's off-centered, I mean, it still would, I would still not care. But, I mean, it would be crazy either way. It would probably be a 9, I'm guessing, if we do pull one. But that would still be incredible. Like, super awesome. Because I, I currently have one that's being graded, but it has the binder ding. You guys saw that video a while back. So, we'll see what it grades. I don't know yet. Hard Armor. You might see this video after we've seen that return video. Kumutoko, Forest, Final Flame, and we're number two, Trial of Hell, another good one, Dissolve Rock, and Wasteland, so we got a nice Final Flame, the rares do look pretty good, so we'll give it that, the, this one does not have the damage on it, so that's nice, pretty cool, alright, a few packs left, hope you guys are enjoying this video, because this is pretty crazy, this one's going to be a lot shorter than the first time we did it, it's like 35 minutes somehow, I don't remember what I was doing the whole time. I was freaking out because I hadn't pulled anything. This time I'm actually doing, I think, a lot worse. So, <laughs> Skull Servant. I was just a lot more worried about it back then. Green Phantom King. Hitatsumi Giant. Come on, let's get some good. I mean, come on. Laser Cannon Armor. Left leg. Okay, left leg. The centering's pretty good. I called Exodia Piece. I was right. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, the centering is not... It's not amazing. But I would say it is close. It is definitely close. What's, what's that on the back? Okay, nothing really. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. I called it. We, we get a leg. Left leg of the Forbidden One. Centering is definitely not perfect. But I think this one's worth a shot at PSA. Because if it does get a 10, this one is like pretty expensive. So that's actually a decent hit. If it gets a 10. That's the best Exodia limit hit besides obviously the head. So that's not bad. I can't complain about that. Um, it's not a blue eyes, but it is uh, it is a pretty good Exodia one. And I, as I said, if I don't have it, I'll be happy. I don't have that Exodia limb in 9 or 10 anymore. I used to have a 9. So either way, I will get to add that to the collection. So that's a good thing for this video. Kumitoko. Two-pronged attack, Sparks. Trial of Hell again. So for the rest, we might only have one more super unless we get an epic box with three ultras. So I think what I'd be looking for is Raigeki or Curse of Dragon. Those are the one, the two I want. Because I'm a big Raigeki fan, and then Curse of Dragon I just need. So we're going to keep opening this 18, nearly $18,000 box. 
we're not making our money back right now. But the last one, we didn't make our money back at first. And then after about nine months, we did make our money back. So maybe in nine months, we'll make our money back. Just got to be patient with it. All right, Kurama. Terror of the Terrible. Pod of Greed. I forgot about Pod of Greed. Okay, the centering is decent. Okay, the back centering is bad. All right. Okay, that's not bad. That's a good pull. That'd be cool if we could get dupes of that. And Drooling Lizard. All right, we've got a few more packs. Can we get lucky and just get something crazy? Come on, we gave away a blue eyes. Where's the blue eyes? All right. Here we go. Red Medicine. Kurama. Terror of the Terrible. Dark Gray. Come on. Flame Ghost as a rare. All right. Drilling Lizard and Sparks. All right, all right. Flame Ghost. Give us a third ultra. How cool would that be? Even if it was another limb, I would be like, all right, cool. I'm down. Spike Seedra. It's possible. It is definitely possible. Mammoth Graveyard. Doesn't happen much at all. Firegrass. Dark World Thorns. Here we go. Come on. Give us the luck. Hit the like button, guys. Aqua Mador. Yeah, it's just the rares seem to be lighter than the commons for some reason. Like, just in color. Nice rare. All right, Legend of Blue Eyes. Here we go. We've got a few more packs, a few more chances at something big. Sandstone, Lesser Dragon. Masaki, the Legendary Swordsman, come on. In Warrior number one, there's that uh, misprint that's on almost all of them. Dragon Capture Jar, Mizurizame, Yame, and Woody Phantom. All right, we are down to what, two packs left? Are we gonna have another foil? I really hope so. Please have another foil. All right, Mountain, hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been fun, it's been crazy. Maybe one day we can do it again, unlikely. I said that last time, but I mean, it's even crazier now. Feed and Reflection number two. Flower Wolf, okay, comes down to the last pack, guys. It's like last time, last pack. Will it have a super? Please have a super in it. I have a feeling it's not going to have a super in it. Please be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am wrong. That's all I got to say. <sighs> Come on. Be wrong. Please be wrong. Fiend Reflection number two. We got a Spike Seedra. Mammoth Graveyard. Fire Grass. A Trap Hole. Okay, a Trap Hole. Uh, it is a super, though. Off-centered, but it's a super. We will take a super. Very cool. So we are definitely going to have a big B BGS sub coming up, that's for sure. I don't even really sub the BGS too much, but we're definitely going to be doing it now with all these foils. So let's go over what our box had. It was pretty fun. So obviously, we pulled this one in the original pack we opened from this box. Definitely the highlight, I would say, even though... Well, no, maybe not because it had the crimp. So we pulled six more foils in this video. We got a trap hole that's... Probably the worst super. Mystical Elf, probably the second worst super. Dark Hole is cool, I do like that. Um, Swords is cool as well, so those are good. And then the Ultras, we pulled Gaia, which I would, I mean, he's not bad. He's pretty cool. Um, he's better than Exodia Lin, probably, except this one. This one's pretty good. The left, the left leg, which I think does have a PSA 10 chance. We're going to give it a shot. If it gets a 10, I will call it, we'll say it's worth it. You know, it's probably not mon monetarily or whatever, but the video, being able to open this stuff was a lot of fun. And if I do get a 10 on the left leg, that'd be crazy. I could start actually trying to get the Exodia set. So right now I have zero pieces. So uh, hopefully that happens. And I hope you guys enjoyed this first edition Legend of Blue Eyes opening. They don't come around too much off or too much anymore. It's just really expensive. So it was fun. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>